So we need to make sure that we set the order as quickly as possible. Actually, I should make sure that I'm low altitude before I do this. Now you can't click the low altitude button after you've set the order. You have to click the low altitude button before you set the order with the Harvest Hawk. I don't believe the Russian aircraft at the moment can do low altitude. So you could do that in mind. Hello guys and welcome to a new Broken Arrow video today by me Vulcan. In this one I'm going to be playing with my US airdrop deck which is a deck that focuses around using the Harvest Hawk to airdrop my units to the front line. So what we're going to be doing today is trying to pretty much perfect the airdrop, see if we can make it work. I'm going to be starting with of course my planes, my air superiority aircraft in order to shoot down enemy threats and then we'll bring in the transport afterwards. Holy moly that's a lot of aircraft. And this is the reason why I didn't bring in mine right at the start because I'm going to be diving straight for theirs and trying to shoot that down. You can see my Hornet here coming across. Hopefully we can get it beforehand. Lovely stuff. Alright, so we're going to evac with mine. All of their aircraft are out and about at the start. And as soon as they have to go back and be sold, I will make sure to bring in my Harvest Hawk. So we're just going to wait a little while longer. Unfortunately, we kind of lost the air in this one, so it definitely makes things a lot more difficult to airdrop. But I didn't waste all my points on my transport at the start, so it's not too much of an issue. And now that our teammate has actually brought in the Patriot here, it should be perfectly fine. So what we're going to be doing is bring in a lav ad we're going to bring in some force recon squads uh, maybe some marine raiders as well get a couple of scout snipers in and here comes the harvest hawk so we're going to take that nice and low hopefully this su-57 doesn't have any missiles left and if it does it might have a hard time hitting us <laughs> never mind it just ran out of fuel <laughs> so we're all good so we're going nice and low here and what I'm going to do is we're just going to airdrop on this left side here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too deep. It's pretty late into the game. I did have to wait for them to leave with their aircraft before I could bring this in. We're just going to drop it on this objective so that we capture it as we drop. And then I can spread out into these high rises and get myself a nice defensive position here. I'm going to spread out my Force Recon units into these buildings further up. Get one of my snipers up here. Marine Raiders can deploy relatively short. Got the Lab AD to protect us from enemy helicopters if they come in. So, a nice successful airdrop that didn't end up getting shot down. Now, if we had managed to take the skies, then I could have brought in the Harvest Hawk a lot quicker. So compared to the Russian airdrop, the American airdrop actually can't carry as much. You've got 20,000 weight and 64 seats. The Russian airdrop is like over 100 seats, I think it's 124 or something, and the weight is like way higher. So you can actually bring in like multiple vehicles, but it does require you to float for quite a bit longer before you can do that. Now, what we want to do after that is probably back ourselves up with some drop-ins from the Osprey. I'm going to do two tow teams, two mech rifles and some extra scout snipers or force recon. We'll do force recon in this case. Maybe bring up some supply that we can drop in here. And we'll do the same again. Two mech rifles. And I can't afford the two tows yet. So we're just going to wait before we bring that in. Osprey awaiting mission. Make sure to give it an unload order as soon as it comes in so that it's not sat around doing nothing for a little while. And since we did manage to get up into this position, I'm going to shift forwards my orders for my own force recon so that we can get into better positions. I think for the most part it's okay to have your men just kind of running across the open 
when you, you know that there's nothing ahead of you like this. It actually takes a lot less time than you'd imagine to just have your, your men run across the open. Did try and fire a mouse spray there. Team ready. Let's get these mech rifle AA boys up. The way that I'm going to do this is we're going to select like all of the same type by double clicking and then I'm pressing tab in order to change the orders or like change the unit that is selected so they can give them individual orders. Probably the best way of saying it. But after what was complete air dominance by our opponents, we have managed to get pretty good positions on the ground. They didn't reinforce themselves quickly enough. Now it only really benefits you to take the sky so much at the start if you do have stuff to heli drop and airdrop after the fact. But since we managed to shoot down their airdrop and they didn't manage to drop anything on the map, it actually meant that we've ended up in a better position in this case. Now, as soon as I can bring in the Harvest Hawk again, we can look to do another airdrop. So we'll bring in another lab AD. I'm kind of tempted actually, maybe instead to bring in a bunch of my tow jeeps and spread them out. I might do that. These tow jeeps, they have M2, the, the tow M2. And if I spread them about, they're pretty good at taking out units that basically aren't heavy tanks. On top of that, I'm tempted to bring in some more marine raiders, but if I do that, I'm not sure exactly where I'd want them to be. We have a really nice position on the right-hand side here. I will bring in some marine raiders. I think we're going to run out of weight in order to bring in three lots of marine raiders, but there we go. That will do. I'm going to drop it up on this hill here so that we can focus on dealing with a lot of these units. So we need to make sure that we set the order as quickly as possible. Actually, I should make sure that I'm low altitude before I do this. Now you can't click the low altitude button after you've set the order. You have to click the low altitude button before you set the order with the Harvest Hawk. I don't believe the Russian aircraft at the moment can do low altitude, so you could do that in mind. I'm just going to pull that up into the sky so that it doesn't get hit by all of the infrared missiles from the helicopters here. And what I'm going to do, we'll get my scout snipers into this building here, and we'll make sure to spread out my toes. Good copy. Next waypoint received. If my marine raiders are in defensive positions here, if the engineers decide to come up this ridge, then we'll be in a good position to intercept them. Meanwhile, we're going to continue to develop my positions here. We actually haven't had many kills so far, but I've managed to use our airdrops and helicopter to get into good positions. So all of my recon line just moving forwards here. And my team really doing a good job of spreading out, making sure the front line's covered by recon. And then we can individually target and take down these units. I'm going to bring my lab I think over to the right hand side to help with these helicopters that are being a bit of a problem for our team and meanwhile what I can do is we can potentially airdrop more lav ADs to the left although I think this can only carry one lav AD at a time so it might be worth instead just getting those mech rifles in as I wanted to before let's go ahead and do that Uh, can I maybe shoot? I wonder if I can shoot this with a tow. I don't think I can. But what I might be able to do is get a tow into line of sight of the ante. If there's nothing in between, 
might just be able to zoom up here. Oh, there's, uh, well, there's one here as well. So let's go ahead and move over there. Since they do have their radar on as well, we could use the Prowler. Nice kill on the SU. Okay, there is defense in position. Let's get my Raiders forwards. We can clean out those infantry. Nice and easy. Meanwhile, let's just shift back the Force Recon. Have them on return fire, or hold fire, so they don't reveal themselves unnecessarily. Anti-armor at your command, sir. Osprey is mission ready. Get my Osprey to land Osprey over here. Ready. Hopefully won't get in range of the Igla. You can see my lab's in a good position now to intercept the helicopters that were coming over here. Well, uh, got a bit complacent with the fact that these helicopters were fine before. And we managed to take advantage of that, so that was good. Get my Osprey out of there. And start spreading out my units on this side. I'm just pressing tab, looking at the unit that I have selected, and then selecting a better place for it. Very nice. Uh, let's just make sure that we don't let that get free killed by the Terminator. That would be a bad idea. And what I'm going to do, I am going to bring in the Prowler. Because those did have their radar on and I couldn't get close anyway. So the way that we're going to use the Prowler um, is we're going to go low. So we tell it to go low immediately. We can bring it in. And then as we get closer to all of this AA, we can bring it up into the sky if we need to get a better angle. In this case, we probably won't need to do that. We managed to kill one of them. The other one got intercepted. Looks like this one. It's fine. We managed to get away in time. The going low with those, really important. Uh, let's see if we can shoot down the MI-8 here. Maybe the MI-28 as well, if I manage to get close enough. I'm just going to drive towards it. He's come behind the building there, so we'll do the same. Let's get my sniper to move up. One of these men can continue to move up. My team's doing a great, I, uh, great job on the left-hand side of developing our position there. Making sure that even though there is an, ob an objective over here, we have the left side covered if needs be to stop enemies flanking us. Now since we're in a really good spot, I think I might invest into the High Mars. They do have a lot of those Antes, but my Prowler survived. So what we can do is we can bring in the two High Mars. And we can use the Prowler to kill Radar AA before we bring it, before we use the High Mars. The other thing that I'm going to do, since I'm probably going to need some decent fire support to get off the edge of this hill, is we'll start rolling in the tanks. I'm going to try and help out against this unit. We'll get the lab to come round and get its gun on target. Move forwards with these units. Perfect. And these pattern tanks are very good at cleaning up infantry because they do have two machine guns, and I think the HE on their main gun is actually higher than that of an Abrams. Need to get rid of this Terminator. <laughs> that SEP is just going hard. Not going to follow that up <laughs> unless he can kill the Terminator. 
I think at the moment it's just gonna die. Yep, <laughs> that was a bit of a waste. Can I get both of my tow jeeps over to the left? So far they haven't really been very useful. Keep swinging forwards here. Keep methodically moving up with all of our support units. Keep my marine raiders in there. Everything else can keep moving forwards. Rocket artillery at your command, sir. Right, let's see if we can take out the Buratino here. The Hymas is firing. I don't know if it's going to be firing in the same place. It looks like he's actually firing at the Antes, so. Managed to take that out. Hopefully, we can take out the Buratino. I fired both of them so that if they get intercepted, it's not too much of a concern. But <laughs> there we go. Nice hit with the high Mars. Very good. Right. Now we bring in the Prowler. And I'm actually going to high Mars these Tunguskas and Taurus. They don't have their radar on, then the Haima will kill them. If they do, Prowler can kill them. Alright, well, looks like they didn't have them. They <laughs> didn't have the radar on, so the Haima's got the kill. Let the Prowler leave whilst it's still got full health, and then it can get its flares back regenerally fast. Okay, next thing to do bring up some supply for my high miles and continue to develop our positions. There's only one flag left, which is this one, so we just need to get my tanks into position and we can finish the job. On the left side here, we'll leave the tow further back. Get that tow into line of sight. Bring the lab AD over to the right side here. Alright, let's start moving forwards with the Marine Raiders and we can help the Abrams cover us from the ridge. We can also bring forwards the Jeeps. In order to do the same, and could throw in another air drop. There is a tank there that's going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. Let's get these raiders into these buildings as soon as possible. We really do need to shoot the T-90 here. This is the benefit of tow jeeps in this situation, is they can free fire because the T-90 is focused on the Abrams. Nice. Tow from the left for my teammate. Out. Armor, out. Let's not get these too close. Get shots onto the infantry there, take them out. Capping this objective, so almost over for our opponents. And what looked like a good start for them really fell apart on the ground. 
Now my marine raiders sitting happily in here will destroy any infantry to try and get in. Marine raiders are fantastic when it comes to defending against enemy infantry. When they're already in a good position, you'll just see them destroy units that come towards them very quickly indeed. There is nothing they can do. Fowler's done its job killing that AA, and that's the last sector captured. Victory is ours. 20 kills, 3 losses. Very, very efficient game for us, and a very solid airdrop in the end. So, hopefully you guys kind of got an idea of how to airdrop more successfully in this particular game. You know, it is all about that air start, making sure that if you lose the air start, that you bring in your aircraft a little bit later, once all of theirs have run out of fuel and leave. Or you can bring it in earlier if you do manage to secure the air with your own fighters. But never bring it in right from the start, because as you saw from the enemy, they lost theirs. And for us, uh, we managed to... well, I didn't bring mine in, so there was no target for them other than the F-18s, which also traded okay I think at the start in the air and then beyond that you're just going to utilize helicopter drops as well with the Ospreys in order to spread out a bunch of infantry and push forwards uh, sort of sequentially, sequentially and methodically. Um, I think that's basically the way that's uh, it's good to play this game and uh, yeah good stuff. Really really fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.